I've been a member of the board of directors of the Sacramento Choral Society. Um, did that for six years. The Sacramento Choral Society is a group consisting of 180 singers run by two tremendous people, both PhDs in music, both former professors at Sac State. And it's a jewel in the crown of Sacramento. This group has sung in Carnegie Hall in New York City, sung in San Francisco, sung in Washington, D.C., sung in the great concert halls of Europe and on the Great Wall of China. And it is quite a cultural uh, advantage for Sacramento to have such a fine group. The group gives four concerts a year and they're well worth attending. So uh, I, I was also uh, the president of the American Corporate Council Association uh, for a while when I was a corporate lawyer before I became an estate planning lawyer. Uh, in addition, um, maybe a little unorthodox answer to that question uh, of community service, but my wife and I uh, raised eight children in the city of Davis had a great time doing it. And so I was their, I guess you could say, chief cheerleader uh, at their uh, baseball games, soccer games, field hockey games, musical recitals, uh, musical presentations, recitations, school plays, et cetera, et cetera. It was exhausting, it was fun, and it was well worth every second of the investment to raise eight wonderful children. I was uh, asked to participate in a program at UC Davis Law School. Uh, it's actually a joint venture between the law school and UC Extension called Orientation to USA Law. That was the brainchild of a wonderful uh, professor uh, at the law school named Beth Greenwood. She discovered that many uh, lawyers outside of the United States want to come to the United States to get an advanced degree in law. And when they go back to their home countries, they put that on the wall and they have very high status as a result. The problem was when they would come to law schools and sit in the normal classes, there were no classes for foreign students, so they'd sit in a normal graduate law school class, they'd be completely confused by the jargon, by the Anglo-American legal system itself, because they come from civil law jurisdictions. And so Beth Greenwood thought they need an orientation to American law. So uh, she recruited me to teach in that because I spent a great deal of my career uh, outside the United States with foreign lawyers. And I taught in that program for 15 years. And I think I learned more than those uh, lawyers from outside the United States did. There were lawyers half from Asia, uh, a quarter from Europe and a quarter from South America. And uh, the questions they would ask and the comments they would make uh, were unforgettable. And so I think I learned more than they did, but it was great fun teaching uh, young lawyers from outside the country. It consisted of uh, lecturing in the summer times. So that was an easy thing to do. It wasn't a full-time teaching position. Uh, and uh, giving lectures to these uh, fine young people and having them engage me in debate and conversation about our different legal systems was a, a treasure in my life. And uh, I think they enjoyed it too. 